We've got Mike Fedorshek here. Uh, how does the car says what? Yoder, Indiana? Where are you from? I'm from Yoder, Indiana. You're just from like, Yoder, too. Just like the car says. Mike Fedorshek, number 97, silver. Right now, uh, you're leading in the points for the WWA R Midgets. Been a pretty rough battle so far? Uh, so far, it's been pretty easy, but uh, as we get down near the end of the season, the tension starts to build a little bit. Uh, I've got a pretty comfortable lead, but uh, I'm still just taking it race per race. Not enough of a lead that you can set back and uh, do your loafing? Uh, I probably could, but uh, just to make it look good for the record books, I think I'll try as hard as I can and finish out the season as best I can. Well, we saw you over at, uh, let's see, Bearfield, over in Fort, close to Fort Wayne earlier this year, and you looked pretty good. Right. Uh, we had a little misfortune at the start of the feature, but uh, things were looking pretty good up till that point. I'm going to say the heat races and everything else, you look good. This is the last of a three-day series. How's the series been going? Uh, real successful so far. We were out at Berlin Speedway in uh, Marne, Michigan on Saturday night. We had fast time, won the heat, and won the feature that night. Uh, last night at uh, Spartan Speedway in Lansing, we had third fast time, second in the dash, and second in the feature. So, and we got a good night's sleep last night, so we're kind of primed up and ready to go for today's event. How's this track compared to the rest of them? Uh, lengthwise and banked. Uh, the thing that I notice most about this speedway is that it's symmetrical on the corners. Uh, a lot of the tracks we run are, are asymmetrical. In other words, one corner may be an oval shape and the other corner may be an egg shape, so it's kind of difficult to set the car up. Uh, whereas this track, being symmetrical, whatever works on one corner also works on the other corner. So it's fairly easy to drive. All four corners the same should make it a little easier. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll be running the uh, super modified and the midget today, and, and the transition between those two takes a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> Maybe a lap or two, then then I have no trouble after that. A little difference in the horsepower and the weight there. Uh, yeah. Really, you don't notice the performance of the two machines until you actually get to the corner. Uh, the super modified having the large amount of wing on top uh, allows you to get through the corners a lot faster and you can actually feel your cheeks pressing against the side of the helmet. Now the midget, uh, you, you take a little bit of different approach from the standpoint that it's more of a finesse and just more uh, small movements with your hands on the steering wheel uh, really slow you down. So you try just to keep as steady as you can in the midget and in the super, you just kind of hang on for dear life. Hang on and wrestle it around the corners? That, that's about the size of it. Okay, sounds like they're getting about ready to go and you're going to want to go out and qualify. Good talking to you and uh, come out on top tonight. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to do your thing here. Thanks, Mike.